All right, so we're finally back out on the trail for a little bit of revenge with the Murray. As you guys saw in a previous video, I dunked this thing under about two feet of water and completely submerged the intake and killed the motor. Since then, I've replaced the head gasket, redone all the valve train, and I even made a smart decision and reattached my snorkel to my Makuni carburetor. So hopefully, we won't be putting it underwater again, but even if I do, I should be okay. This guy you might remember from the Mud Run videos, Randy, he's got a new tractor that he just got, John Deere 210, and this thing is a monster. Thing's got like 20 or 30 gears, it's heavy. He's got some uh, rental tires in the back, and he's gonna take this thing out today and see just what it's capable of doing. I mean, I can charge him for using my tires because he just said they were rental. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's up to you guys. <laughs> and of course, no romp out here would be complete without Castle and it's rider Bruce, AKA Mower Outlaw. How's it going? And he brought his buddy back along here, Justin. They made some small improvements on this machine. But enough chit chat, let's get out on the trail and let's see what these things will do. better this week. So small update on the Murray, things were not going as planned. At high idle, it was breaking up. Uh, we pulled the intake off of it and had gas in it. So what we did was we actually pulled the throttle slide out and I stepped it back one space on the C-clip because it was opened all the way up to the richest setting. And we tried it again in this mud hole, it was still doing it. So we pulled the air filter and snorkel assembly completely off of it and it seemed fine. So we then removed the snorkel, built a little spacer, put the filter on, drove it back through the mud hole. And wouldn't you know it, everything's perfectly fine. So for some reason that snorkel is causing it to run rich. We're throwing the snorkel in a toolbox right now and we're just gonna run it without. So I'm gonna have to stay out of the really deep water, but it seems to be running a lot better. Transmission feels a little funny. Sounds like you have a rock on top of your pulley. Something's going on because he keeps stalling out on me every once in a while on a certain gear. It did stall back there? Yeah, a couple times. I'd go to start and it would, I don't know if the trannies messed up or if it's, because it would make sense why it was only dogging out in third gear. You think something's binding up in third? Maybe, or maybe it's a pulley. Something sounds like it's, second I'm going to pull that. Brand new transmission. I know. You bought it brand new, what, two years ago? I know. Here we are at the island of broken dreams. 
Randy's checking over his machine, and this thing's acting funny. I don't know what it is. Uh, sometimes when I select second or third gear, it seems to be binding up. I don't know if it's transmission or something to do with the belt. Everything looks okay. All right, so new development in the case of the Murray issues. Um, it's not a belt. I pulled the bottom cover off. Bruce, you want to give that a spin? Something broke free inside that transmission. I can hear it grinding. Oh. Locked up, yeah. Um, so my suggestion, don't use third gear. <laughs> I love third gear. Well, second or fourth, buddy, stay with the evens. <laughs> Should've brought the Sears. Don't say that. We're out here testing these things. It's about time you broke this thing. I know. I'm curious to know, it feels like I must've chipped the tooth off of one of the gears. It's probably in there bouncing around, shearing little pieces. Yep. Send it. Ride it. Hey. Right. Ride it. You're probably towing me out of here today again. Yeah, so there you go. I'll be breaking down again today. We're gonna run it till she blows. I mean, at this point, I could probably take it apart and fix it, but I've also got a different tranny sitting down there that I could put in too. You do have that uh, step up, I think you'd consider it. Yeah, so maybe this isn't a bad thing. <laughs> oh my God. So this spot right here, Right there, roughly, is the spot where the Murray died last weekend. Bruce is in it, not quite as far as I was, but he's still alive. So Randy here is going to try to pull him out. At least it's still running. The mower outlaw's belt is roached. He uh, was gonna change it, he's got a new one, but it seems like the new one is way too small, so he couldn't. And Randy here on the John Deere, Randy's having a problem with his berry drive setup on this thing, so we are all having issues on the island of broken dreams, except for this guy, Justin, who seems to be performing now I want to go through this. flawlessly. I love the way this thing sounds when it idles. I'll mention though, while you're thinking about my broken transmission is, note that I am still locked. My locker did not break. Something inside the transmission broke. My good friend Randy here dropped into one of the biggest, deepest mud holes we have on this trail. Because he was in front and he thought, oh, I'll just go through it. This is a deep one. And he's got a very dry problem, which is the same reason I hate MTDs. Looks like he's coming out though. And on a strange side note, 
The Murray is performing awesome all of a sudden. As you can see by the Murray itself, I'm having a blast. I'm just bombing these mud holes. I'm not giving a crap. I'm just like, whatever, just beat it till it dies. I don't really care. I did something and I came out. I went from third to fourth. <laughs> so fourth gear solves problems. We made it back. I didn't blow the tranny. I didn't blow the motor. I'm surprised, honestly, because the tranny was really bad shape. But everyone else seemed to survive. Randy had some very drive issues. Mr. Moa Outlaw, he uh, had a belt stretch issue, but you know, after a while, it didn't seem to be much of an issue. But there we go. We actually had a successful romp after a really rough start. So I'm excited about that. Finally got back out on the trails successfully. So awesome. Got my revenge. Um, but that's going to do it for us today. See you next time.